Why was electron microscopy developed? It was realized that light microscopy was not enough. One started to wonder, is there more to see? in the fine details of cells and tissues inside than is possible to visualize with a light microscope. My name is Lauri Pelliniemi and I have served as a professor of medical electron microscopy and our lab is called Laboratory of Electron Microscopy. It was developed to replace light microscopy in terms of getting a better resolution. If we now consider how to interpret the image, we have to have a, a thorough knowledge and understanding of how to prepare a specimen. First step when the sample has been either dissected out or picked up, like in the case of, of a small fly, it is put into the fixative, normally gluter aldehyde. The, the person to contact is uh, Dr. Markus Peurla, who is a physicist. I am Markus Peurla and I am a lab engineer in the EM core facility in the University of Turku. And this facility is for providing sample preparation and EM microscopy services for researchers in this campus. The sectioning, it has to be embedded in a medium. We use epoxy resins. which are not water soluble, that is why we have to remove water, dehydrate the specimen before it can be embedded. The resin is then cured uh, with uh, heat treatment plus 60 and we end up with a hard block of tissue which is a piece of plastic, uh, the resin hardened polymerized resin and the tissue, piece of tissue is in the tip. And from there we trim off extra resin to reveal the tissue as such and then from the trimmed block we can, with the ultra microtome, that is the instrument to cut the thin, ultra thin sections, whose uh, thickness we can regulate down to 60 nanometers in routinely. And then the sections are collected and put on a special three millimeter grid made of a metal net, and then it is ready to be put into the, a special specimen holder. Now we load the sample holder back to the microscope so that we first pump a pre-vacuum in the airlock chamber and once the vacuum is good enough then we can insert the sample into the microscope main vacuum. So on the microscope, we first switch on the acceleration voltage on the electron gun. 
And uh, when the acceleration voltage is set up, then we can switch on the electron beam to see the image on the screen. Okay, this is what we got. So we have uh, muscle atrophy caused by mitochondrial myopathy, it seems. That's why the fly couldn't fly, I guess. 